Okay, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so what do I want to talk about this time? Um, well, since it's on my mind a lot at the moment. <laughs> So as you guys can't get away from, I do have three books now on Kindle Direct Publishing. Um, so they're available through Amazon, they're available on Kindle, and they're available um, on Kindle Limited. For those of you who have Kindle Limited and you know like the free book option, it's it's good for me if you use that one. <laughs> um, but obviously with that, you know, I I do have a lot of things to think about and consider and to juggle. Um, one of the things I'm juggling at the moment is actually getting the paperbacks ready for all of these books. I have sorted the paperback manuscript for Echo now. I did that on my last day off. It was the most tedious, tedious process that I've, I've ever had to go through. Um, I mean, Amazon Kindle Direct, I guess, <laughs> do actually let you download the template things so you can just copy and paste into the the once you blank made, made the document blank you can copy and paste um into the template so all the page sizes are done for you um and and you can just sort of like go through and just tidy up the formatting in places one of the things i did notice and this was the thing that was so tedious <laughs> um was that it sort of messed up what the the fonts and the font sizes were in the, in my chapters so I literally had to go through every single chapter and make every single chapter the same font and the same font size and then I had to go back through it well. To be fair, all I had to do for the uh, chapter titles because they were still saved under um, heading one um, because obviously um, <laughs> when I was creating the manuscript for the ebook, that's what I had to uh, save them as. Um, so that that all I had to do there was just you know edit the heading setting and make it the right yeah, font and the right font size and it automatically changed everything because I'm clever enough to do that. And then I got a bit of a headache with sorting out the page numberings on the pages and even though I kept like looking at the tutorial videos for how to do it the way that I wanted, it's not ended up exactly the way I would have liked it. Um, there's no number on the title page, but every page after that does have a page number on it because no matter what I did, I could not get their method of making that not happen work. And it was just, it was just a headache and I just kind of gave up. In the end. <laughs> but the manuscript is uploaded now uh, for, for Echo. Um, I was waiting for the wraparound cover to be uh, completed by my lovely cover making friend. Um, so hopefully the the front image for Echo gets to remain the same. There's no reason why it, it should change, and if it does, I will have to change it for the other version as well, just so everything matches up a little bit nicer. Um, I mean, then that bit, it shouldn't. It should be easy enough to sort of manipulate. I mean, my friend's a genius, so <laughs> I'm hoping that it will uh, that will work out okay with that. Um, but I did create that that image, uh, the, the one that I'm going for, as my, my main image for Echo. Uh, and I did create the, the back page for it as well. Um, I did look to see if I could um, use KDP's um, cover creating studio to do the same thing that I had done with Echo, which is basically my own front image, my own back image, and then just sort out the spine. Um, you could definitely do the, the front image, but on my image size was incorrect <laughs> um, and I, I couldn't really work out how to, to do the back cover the same so I was just like you know what it'll just be easier to have the full wraparound done by my friend um, who as I said he's sorting it for me at the moment um, I've told him there's no rush on it I mean I, I should say you know, I, I should want there to be a bit more of a rush on it because you know, having that paperback uh, version out there as well is is going to allow a few more search options for me and hopefully maybe get a bit more interest for me. Um, I certainly know there are a number of people that I, I know personally and that I work with who would rather have a paperback copy than um, 
a Kindle copy because they don't necessarily get on as well with Kindle, or they don't own Kindles, or they don't have, you know, the ability to download the app. <laughs> Even though that's the way they could get free copies every three months, because, you know, that's, I, I do want to keep running the free book promotions at the start of every uh, select cycle uh, for each of my books, and each of my books is on a different spec cycle, so um, I will let people know as and when they, they are available for free uh, via my Twitter, via my Facebook page, so if you guys want to keep abreast of when you can get a free Kindle version of any of my books, follow and like me um, on those various places, and that's the best way of, of keeping on top of that. I believe my um, Twitter and uh, Facebook are in the description. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I added them at some point. If not, I'm fairly certain they're actually on my um, my homepage. So that's another way to sort of to look for it. So yeah, um, the whole uh, trying to get the paperback paperbacks out there should probably feel like more of a of a pressing thing to sort of do because I know it will often open up more opportunities for me. But at the same time, I had like a very busy end of last year with all the writing stuff. Um, the very busy beginning of this year with all the writing stuff and obviously I'm asking my friend to resize a hyena book cover um, once I get around. But I think Hyena Boy is probably the next one that I will do because it's the same length book as Echo so it's going to probably take about the same amount of time to do the editing stuff. It's probably going to be the same sort of or very similar uh, cover dimension sizes to, to Echo, so you know my friend will be used to working with those dimensions and hopefully he won't have to start the cover from scratch. Don't want him to have to start that cover from scratch. That would, you know, be really frustrating for him. It'd be really frustrating for me because that will, you know, make everything take a lot longer. Um, but hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> things will work out okay. And you know, it's it's just a case of uh, figuring out how to get the covers looking as good as they can. And um, after Echo, Hyena Boy would be the next easiest one to to get everything sorted for because. It already has a full wraparound cover, um, ready and waiting for it. Just needs some adjusting um, in order to get it to look good. Um, so yeah, the, the the plan is not necessarily this week because I do have a few things on this week. But certainly, you know, in the next couple of weeks uh, is to get the manuscript for uh, the paperback of Hyena Boy sorted. Um, and then, you know, the, the manuscript for the colours I see sorted and then all of the lovely manuscripts will be up there and just waiting for covers and then we'll just get released as the covers are sorted and completed and um, yeah so that's kind of the exciting stuff on, on that side of things at the moment I don't know if you'd agree that those things are exciting but you know to me they feel quite exciting um, but sort of like along with that I'm also trying to come up and think of ways of getting my books out there, getting my books recognised, getting people thinking and talking about my books. Um, one of the ideas I've sort of had for that is to do 60 second book readings. Um, <laughs> um, and then like, like uploading those to various, um, various sites, <laughs> like Twitter and um, Facebook story and uh, I do have an Instagram, so I can upload it to there. I'm thinking about maybe getting TikTok. Um, I'm not sure how well it will it would do kind of there, but you know uh, that as well. I'll probably also post it on here as well because um, this is a this is a good site for just you know getting the videos up there, and they're, they're still promotional videos, so it's still sort of worth covering all my bases plus if it's here I can also add them to my website a little bit more easily um for those of you who are not aware I do have a website for for my books and for my writing um again the link to that is definitely in the description um I've done a lot of work on oh well I say I I and my friend have done a lot of work on that recently I mean I've put all like the the information and, and stuff on that on there He's literally just gone in and tidied stuff up so that it, it, it works where I want it to and it looks pretty much the way I want it to. Um, which reminds me, I do need to go on there soon and officially put in the name of the third book. So the book that I'm planning to release by the end of this year, the one that I'm editing at the moment, the uh, 
her book in the uh, Neverton collection. Um, why not? I will let you guys know what it is called now. It is called No Doors Allowed and it will be focused on Orion. Um, I think I've said before that this one is set after the end or after the ends of the, the previous two books. So it's, it's set after the events of Hyena Boy and Charles I See. It's set uh, I think it's about 18 months-ish later. Um, it does actually say exactly how long later it is at the beginning of um, No Doors Allowed. I think within the first couple of chapters you get the exact time frame um, from how long after it is and I can't remember what that is off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, it's No Doors Allowed and it will be Orion's book. Um, and anyone who has read The Colour I See will probably understand where the title is coming from on that one. Um, if you've not read The Colours I See, go read The Colours I See and you will kind of prepare yourself for where this, this book is, is going. Um, I will obviously release more details about that one throughout the year up until its release point. Um, I haven't yet come up with a blurb or anything for it. Um, so the, the secrets, and there are there are secrets on the Never Rate and Voice pages, um, they're, they're, because you know there isn't a um, blurb for No Doors Allowed or for the fourth book yet. Um, <laughs> uh, all the secrets are kind of contained to their profiles, but you know, I'd, I'd recommend you guys go on there, sort of have a look at those pages. They're not like earth shatteringly big secrets or anything like that, but there are like things there that are related to the books that have already been released. There are things there that are related to the books that have yet to come out. Um, and it all sort of connects together, it all sort of ties together. And I think there is a lot there um, that, you know, for, for anybody who's sort of interested in sort of like theorising and stuff like that, it's, there's a lot of the stuff there for you guys to kind of work with. And yes, it's no sort of like big, heavy, great big mystery kind of things. Um, because, you know, I'm, I'm not that good yet. <laughs> Maybe as I, say, as I keep working on the website, I will get to the point where I can sort of add in like a greater sense of the mystery um, and stuff like that. But, you know, I, I, I write more for people to sort of theorise about things that I've not necessarily thought about um, rather than necessarily to, to theorise about the things that I have. <laughs> so, like, just having like, these little clues and these little sort of, you know, things or like hidden on there is you know it's one of those things that makes it quite exciting for for me um and hopefully make it quite exciting for you guys even if it's not like big grand mystery kind of stuff um that you know i know people do, do actually enjoy it's 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 kind of like my little attempt at it so it's you know I, it's a way of kind of making me feel more connected to to whoever is out there reading my work um to kind of go, hey, you know what? I've hidden these little, these little clues um, in in you know, these, these profiles and in like the blurbs on the, their their book pages um, for you guys to kind of look at and, and uncover and, and maybe kind of start thinking about the story in a different way or kind of start speculating about the the two books that are coming out one this year or next year. Um, and stuff like that so you know in, in, in those sorts of terms it's it's uh <laughs> it, it's sort of like you know my little way of like attempting to sort of generate uh the, the kind of mystery feel and, and theorizing for the old theory fodder that you know i like um from from other people's work so it's yeah it's very much that that kind of thing at the moment <laughs> um so the, yeah this one ended up being a bit more updated than i originally thought it was going to be. Um, I do apologise for that. I don't, you know, set out to do update videos, <laughs> except, you know, when I did them on the other system of, of how I came up with the vlogs, yeah, I, you know, I would plan for updating sort of videos. I haven't planned for this to be sort of an updating sort of video. I was initially coming on and going, okay, okay guys, I've had this idea for something that I can do, which is a 60 second uh, book readings. Um, so be prepared to start seeing those soon. I think I'm going to do one as kind of like a, a little tester um, today, probably, um, and then see how it goes because I, I've spent most of the morning sort of having to learn the little snippet that I want to sort of do um, for, for the first one 
just so that I can, I'm not very good at reading things aloud. I, I, I'm sure you've noticed I do have a little bit of a, a conversational stammer. I'm not always the best at getting words out. In fact, one of the big things I found when I used to do the Echo Read um, is like 90% of my um, editing was just cutting out the fact that I'd stumbled over words, I'd done this and I'd done that. I'm not the best at reading things out loud. So as I said, I spent most of the morning practicing <laughs> this, this like really small snippet um, which I'm hoping is within the 60 seconds that I need it to be. Um, I'm kind of worried it's slightly longer than that, but I won't know for sure until I actually get to to the reading of it. Because um, obviously I want it to be interesting, I want it to be dynamic, and it needs to sort of be in that sort of 60-ish seconds mark in order to be able to be uploaded to the places that I want to upload it to. So, um yeah, <laughs> kind of excited and nervous and, you know, looking forward to that. But I, I'm also aware that I'm probably not going to release loads of them. They're not going to be all clustered together because I want you know, to make sure that I'm producing them to the best of my abilities. Um, which means, you know, taking the time to rehearse the bits I'm going to do, make sure that I'm choosing the right sort of intriguing kind of bits to sort of do. Um, making sure that I'm, I'm mixing and matching uh, what I do and that I'm not all doing all of them. Like, like there's so much that goes on in the colours I see. But I could do all of them just just the colours I see and still not do the entire, <laughs> entire book. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it, it's, it's very much a, uh, a case of, um, you know, I, I want to make sure that I, I produce like the, them in the best style and the best quality that I can, even if that, if that means a little bit of experimentation at the moment and I'm not necessarily going to get it right on the first video. Um, so they, they may be sort of few and, and far between, but it's, it's something that I want to experiment with, it's something that I, you know, I, I want to try out and, and sort of see how it goes. Um, and that was kind of what I wanted to talk about on this one, and then I got distracted with it. Oh, by the way, I'm doing the paperbacks! <laughs> So yeah, I apologise if it's ended up a little bit more updatey than I initially kind of intended it to be, um, but I'm hoping this is all kind of like interesting and relevant information for you guys, even if it's a little bit all over the show um, and, and whatever else. Um, Alright, okay. So with that said, I hope you guys have found this one interesting. I hope you're looking forward to finding out whatever it is I'm going to be talking about next time. <laughs> um, and I will see you guys next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.